Hello everyone and welcome again. This is Noor and today we'll be discussing how to create an SEO optimized content after Google first update that has been released in 25th of October. So those will be the, the topics that will be covered through this presentation today, which is what is SEO content, the relationship between content first and SEO, and the context stylishing and so on and pert, and also the context and relevance score, as well as also the context and natural language processing, and last but not least, how to write an SEO optimized content with some practical examples. So let's go on. So first of all, what is SEO content? The SEO content, it refers to the content that helps your website, your page, your blog to get a high rank in Google in this targeted keyword with few or even without any backlinks. And this can be done through the analysis of the, you know, analyzing the top 10 Google results and those are considered an SEO optimized and qualified enough to rank. That's why they got a high rank in Google based in Google guidelines. So if we analyzed them, so we can get the similar content as they do, and actually we can get a high rank in Google as they do as well. So if we do that, we can have an SEO optimized content similar to the top Google result. You might ask, what is Google Bird? Actually, the Google BERT, or which stands for the bidirectional encoder presentation from Transformers, it's an algorithm which depends on the deep learning algorithm, and to which is related actually to the natural language processing, and that can be used in a large context. That means that the BERT helps Google to understand the meaning of this word in a context, not an isolated word. So. The word meaning is done or it's clear through the sentence, not an isolated keyword. So this one where it might have a multiple meanings. So how can Google do that? How can Google understand that? It can be done through the Perth algorithm, which is can explain to him the meaning through the sentence or the context itself, not an isolated word. This is how Google understand the search queries. And we have here uh, such example, which is the word rose. Rose might be a flower or a girl, or like, for example, it can be a color. So how can Google understand that? This is done through the context, as we said. And we have here, for example, uh, an example before and after the Perth update. For example, the catch cow fishing. A catch cow fishing in, in New England, the cow in, in the context of fishing means a large stripped pass, as we see here in the in in the images. So before Google understand it, or before birth of data, I mean Google understand it, it shows it, it it will show you some you know images for cows and so on. It didn't understand it as those big fish as we see here. So after the birth algorithm, it appeared to have understood. Google understood the context of the word fishing, which is cow fishing, and then it gives us a correct, a, you know, results through these images we see here right now. Let's have a practical example. Uh, the targeted keyword will be like a pancake. And we have here a fairly optimized uh, text. We have a moderate optimized text and last we have like uh, an SEO optimized text. So let's find that out using similar content analysis to figure out is it right or not. And also let's search in Google. So let's go to similar content proofs and then let's search about that word, get it here and go to Google, write it down and then press research and then So as we see here, the the first text, which is fairly, uh, chose for me here some ingredients, some uh, dry, you know, images of flour and so on. So this is not the pancake. This is not this is not what we are looking for. Google didn't understand that. So let's go to similar content, and right here, pancake. And press analyze. So I choose for me here the topic difficulty is 48.4. So let's go here and paste that here and press analyze. So as we see here, the relevance score is 3.88, and the you know. This is what the keyword ranking predictor 
is you know uh, this is what Google can understand it in 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 Google as we see here. So let's try this out. Let's copy that and search about it. Let's go to Google. Open and refresh this page. I'm sorry, refresh that. This is the new example we have. Oh, that's clear. It's the same actually as we did uh, the first search in Google. It's not showing the pancake, it's just showing some dry ingredients and so on, a flour and eggs and so on. This is not the pancake we are looking for. So let's try the other example. Go here. Let's try to search about it first. Delete that. Search about the moderate text. This is the second one. Okay. Uh, it's starting to show and see, you know, it's semi-optimized, but it's not also that accurate. It's not an issue optimized because it's showing for me here like uh, a toast. It's not all a pancake. So let's go also analyze this text here. Paste it in and then don't forget to check this AI text and then analyze. Okay, that's clear. So the relevance score went up, which is 4.37. And also, let's go to Keyword Ranking Predictor. Copy that and search about it in Google. Search it about it. So, let's post it here. Okay. So, uh, as you see here also, it's not that clear. As it shows for you also, like, this is according to similar content understanding. That means they are similar according... That means that similar content is the same as Google understanding as well. That this, uh, you know, this description of the target keyword for pancake, it's not clear. And uh, it shows for you some related or some words or some images that not, that are not related to the target keyword that we are targeting, which is pancake. So uh, lastly, let's search about this one, which is an SEO optimized. Let's search about it in Google first. And let's see. Okay, that's awesome. So as we see here, this is the related keyword that it gives you all about the results, all about the pancake, even without mentioning the word pancake in the context as we see here. This is done through PERT analysis or PERT algorithm update that can understand the meaning of the word through the context or through some related keywords. So let's search, let's say, you know, analyze this in a similar content. Go here, let's analyze, and let's wait. Hmm. Wow. So the relevance score here went up more than the previous one, which is 5.83. And uh, let's go to Keyword Ranking Predictor. Let's copy this description of this Keyword Ranking Predictor and search about it in Google. And let's press Research. Okay, that's exactly the same as, uh, you know, Google understanding as well. This is according to similar content understanding or description for the target keyword, which is Pancake. And even without mention, mentioning the keyword pancake in the description here or in the context. That's to prove, or this is a practical example for PERTA update in Google. So let's go back to the presentation. So right now, as we discussed, the fairly optimized, the moderate optimized, and issue optimized in practical way, as we have discussed that as well. This is uh, the description of the keyword ranking predictor that we have, you know, had an example throw. And this is a moderate optimized text and that what we analyzed as well in keyword ranking predictor. And this is the last one, which is an ECU optimized text. And, and we have also discussed that through the practical example we just had. Okay, so right now, the very, very, and the most important question, which is how to write an SEO optimized content. Choosing the semantic keywords and SI keywords in the proper natural language processing that Google can understand. That means you are not using some, you know, 
abstract keywords without putting them in the correct framework, which is natural language processing. It should be in, in, the, in the appropriate framework, and also it should include the semantic and LSI keywords that Google can understand it clearly. And secondly, you need to test your content by checking it, how can Google understand it, as we had an, an example just previous uh, uh, 10 seconds ago. And also, you can check it also before publishing in similar content. So you can do the same. Similar content can help you with that by suggesting the LSI and semantic keywords, as we see here. Those keywords that you should include in your article on, on the natural language processing framework. Those are suggested, as we said, by the analysis of the top 20 results in Google. And also, the Google or similar content will understand your text as exactly Google has the same. So it can understand the similar understanding percentage that Google does, actually. And also, it can predict what keyword that Google will rank this content through, through our, you know, the keyword ranking predictor, which is the core tool of similar content. First, you need to find the LSI and semantic keywords, and this is what will be through similar content will be helping you through this. And also, you know that each job or each profession has its own expression. As a doctor, in medicine, we have expression related to medicine. In translation, in marketing, in SEO content, and, and, and so on, we have some expression related to each profession. So as a professional, and you are writing about this content, you should be aware of this job expressions, and you should include it all. So each online topic has its own, as we said, an LSI and semantic keywords, and you should be aware of that. You should be familiar with the specialized LSI and semantic keywords related to your profession. So you find the LSI and semantic keywords with the proper per percentage. As we have here in the article, it's used choice for you here, it's mentioned that seven times. It should be done 43. That's why it's low. It should be, you know, it should be mentioned over there and that. And this is what makes similar content, you know, unique and distinguished because it gives you the percentage. So it's, you are not an ignorant and you don't know, uh, am I writing right or not? No, you have a specific, uh, you know, charts and choose for you specific numbers and very, very, very accurate. You need to structure these keywords in the proper natural language pr processing framework that Google can understand it through. So you need to make the targeted keyword the subject in order to also be having the, the, the chance to rank to be higher than other, you know, website or other than competitors. So right now we have here an example for uh, the, the word SEO content routing, which is here as an object. And we have here the SEO content routing, which is as a subject. So let's run a quick example or a quick test on this word. Okay. Let's go to similar content. Go to big difficulty and press uh, here. And press analyze. Okay. So let's copy this uh, description. Let's see. Okay, so now I have the relevance score, which is 4.97. And let's see the keyword rank predictor. So this is how Google understand my description, which is as a, as an, a search engine traffic. So this, the, the ECU content routing is very, very less or it's less than the search engine traffic, which is 90%. And let's go and write this in Google and let's see how can Google understand it. So I'm doing the steps that we just discussed, which is to search in Google before publishing. Hmm. Okay. So as I see here, it's all about the search engine traffic and so on. So it's not the specific targeted keyword, which is we are targeting, which is SEO content writing. So let's go to our presentation. And uh, let's search about, uh, let's copy this, another description that we have used the targeted keyword as a subject through. Uh, let's go to similar content. Okay. And press analyze. Okay. And wait for a second. 
All right. So right now, as we see here, the relevance score went higher. And let's go to keyword ranking predictor. As we see here, the Google understand it as an SEO content writing and the chance to rank is 99.7%. That's super high. Okay, so let's go to Google and research that. All right. So as we see here, this is how Google can understand my text as related to an SEO content writing. And this is all done through putting the target keyword as a subject, not an object or not an indirect object, as we have discussed earlier. Okay, so right now we have uh, like a practical examples of similar content, uh, you know, an article on similar content blog. And we need to figure out you know, it's a relevancy score or we need to figure out it's ranking in Google and we need to know, are we going to be able to, you know, update or to optimize the content of this article to get high rank or not? And uh, let's do that in a practical right now. Let's search, for example, about an SEO content writing, SEO content writing, and then press research. And then let's search for similar content. So we have it here, like the fourth page in Google. So we need to, you know, optimize the relevancy score, or we need to optimize the percentage of this article in similar content to get higher rank. So if we go here in similar content, and then we open and search for SEO content writing and press research. It will show you that the topic difficulty is 46.2. So, and we have here the first 10 websites that got a high rank in Google. But what is weird that the first website that got a high rank in Google, its score is 28.2. So, how did he do that? Let's figure this out. Let's get the website link. And then let's copy that. Let's go to Content Optimizer. And let's fetch it. Let's figure out or let's spy on their marketing strategies and just let's fetch this article. And let's press an AI analysis and then press analyze. Wait for a second and then we have the result. The relevance score is 27.62 and we have here the, the suggested keywords. Okay, let's go to the core of similar content, which is keyword ranking predictor. Let's figure out what makes this website or what makes this article get the first rank in Google. As we have here, the keywords in the keyword ranking predictor that we have in SEO writers with a percent of 73.8. We have search engine optimization writing, with percent of 70, we have basics of SEO writing, which is in the percent of 64.4. So let's search, for example, about this word in the article. So we have here, for example, this uh, the first phrase or the first sentence or the first paragraph that got SEO writers and SEO writers mentioned twice. And we have here, for example, also the basics of SEO. So if we got, for example, this phrase, and we went to Google. Let's, for example, go to Google, write this word here, and then press images. Let's figure this out, if Google can understand this or not. So as we say, as we have here, that we have here all the images regarding an SEO writing and so on, that indicates that Google understand it perfectly, which is cool. All right, okay. So what we need to do right now, that if you figure this out, you will figure that they used the targeted keyword as a subject, not an object or not an indirect object. They figure to use or they stressed on using this targeted keyword in their article as a subject that made them they get high rank in Google. And, or this is one of the reasons or one of the main reasons that what we need to do right now that we need just to get or to quote some words or some sentences so we can use it in our article as well. 
So I'm just going to get or I'm just going to copy some text here that we're just going to need to upgrade the score of our article and the article we have here. And then we copy this, for example, as well. Mm. OK. OK. Let's get this, for example, as well. Is it in the text message I have or the text bar I have? Okay, all right, that's cool. Okay, and let's go for example to search engine optimization. Um, let's paste it here. All right. Okay, let's copy this for example. And let's paste it here. So I'm just picking up some words that might be helpful for me so I can add it in my, you know, article. But actually, I'm not going to add it like that. I'm just going to, you know, make some updates, some changing and so on in order not to be accused of plagiarism as well. But you need to focus on using these words or these keywords that help them also to get the high ranking in Google as a subject, not an object. Okay, so right now I picked up some, you know, important phrases, important sentences. I'm just going to like copy these sentences here. Let's see if it will achieve a high rank or not. Let's analyze it. Okay, that's cool. It's got like 8.29. And if we check this here out, we will we'll see like it, it's talking about SEO writers with a percent of 83, basics of SEO writing with a percent of 77, and search engine optimization writing with a percent of 66, and so on. And he's a new SEO writers with a percent of 57. So actually, those are the main keywords that targeted the target keyword as a subject, not an object that, that made them actually to get a high rank in Google. So, Let's, for example, get our article in similar content, this article here. Let's analyze it in our tool, similar content. Let's see. So let's press analyze. OK, so the relevance score is 68. Let's go to keyword ranking predictor. We see here that the SEO content writing with a chance to rank, which is 73, is search engine with a percent of 58, and so on. So right now, we need to make some modification on this article to make sure that we can increase the chance to rank percentage and the keywords that made them to get a high rank in Google or to increase the relevancy score as well, or the rank. All right. so. If we randomly just used these phrases here, I'm just gonna put it randomly like this to just make a, a, a you know a quick test. Let's see if it works or not. Hmm. Okay, the relevance score went super high, which is 70.17. Let's go to keyword ranking predictor. You will figure out that this you know the keyword or the keywords in the keyword ranking predictor that this article will be getting ranked in SEO content writing with a percent of 69, SEO writers, search engine optimization, basics of SEO writing, keyword phrases, and the new SEO writers. So we change it actually the keyword ranking predictors with some more keywords, which might give them the, uh, you know, the priority to get a high rank in Google. So actually what we need to do that we need to, you know, use these words, but in different way. For example, we are not going to use it like that. We need to make some modification. So if we need, for example, to add the basics of writing, I will add it here. The basics of SEO writing for SEO writers. First, prepare your receipt and second and so on so blah 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 right here and so on okay that's a good ad and uh, we can say also we can add this at the beginning 
of the article here for example and I can go down this is the definition of SEO SEO writing is a search engine optimization writing it's writing that is focused on grabbing and so on so on so we can, we can write for example here what do we mean by SEO writing and can I can post it here I can post it here and by the way you can activate the writing mode so it will you know make a quick uh, updates while you're writing so right now let's say we post that and that and that okay so let's just make a quick analyze uh, let's see that actually proved the credibility of similar content as well okay all right that's cool so we have here the chance to rank for SEO coin writing with 73 mm -hmm. and search engine optimization writing as we have here. So SEO content writing, which is also the targeted keyword with a good chance to rank, which is 73. So actually you are always making some changes by spying or in the other competitors or the top sites, 10 websites that got high rank in Google, somewhere they used and so on that made them to get a high rank in Google as they are a well optimized and also an SEO content optimized or qualified according to Google guidelines. So uh, let's go for example to, you know, let's analyze the second, the second website. Also, let's figure out, let's spy on their marketing strategy as well. Let's go to content optimizer and then post the link. Press fetch, analyze. Press fetch, then analyze. Okay, so the relevance score here is 55.25. And let's go, let's go to keyword ranking predictor. We have here that the keyword is SEO content writing with a, with a percent of 81.4, SEO experts with a percent of 59, and and so on. So we just need, you know, to focus, for example, let's search in this word, the used. Okay, we have here, for example, that this phrase. The key to SEO content writing. We have six steps and so on. Is an important part of SEO strategy. So, for example, I'll copy that. This phrase. For example, I'll copy this. What is SEO content writing? I'll copy this, for example, till here. and I'll post it in my notes here so we can you know optimize or increase the relevancy score of our article that we are working on to upgrade let's for example uh, search for another one okay the key to SEO content the key to uh, SEO content writing we have six steps and let's copy that till here you know i'm just taking some examples as uh, that's all to show you that how it works but you need to know actually to add like some uh, phrases some paraphrasing and so on to the to the basic sentence that you are working on but you may you need to make sure that you are not changing the you know the subject or the targeted keyword from the subject and not to make it like an object or an indirect object in order to be and make sure that uh, you are keeping the priority high so right now let's for example search about the the other word which is seo experts so 
we have it here as well SEO expert needs and even and so on furthermore actually uh, content writing actually is let's stop here go down so let's for example analyze this text And then press analyze okay so I have here the relevance score which is 13.81 let's go to keyword keyword ranking predictor we have here the keyword ranking predictor is your content writing with a percent of 98 which is cool and content writing with a percent of 62 SEO with a percent of 58 Content with a percent of 57, SEO content with a percent of 55. So, all of these words that proves or that are placed as a you know as a subject, which made this uh, website they get the second or the second rank in Google, uh, the second site that got high rank in Google. So right now, let's for example add this also to our article. All of that we are working to increase uh, you know the ranking of the article we have here in similar content so right now let's for example analyze the article one more time I'm sorry let's fetch it that's a mistake let's fetch it let's fetch the article And then let's press analyze okay so as we see here okay so as we see here the relevancy score is 68.51 and we have here the keyword ranking predictor which shows that SEO content running with a percent of 73 is search engines and that's all so we need to make some modifications so beside the modifications so for example we said that we are going to use this um, but it but it here and this one for example that the definition of SEO uh, I prefer to use that here what is SEO content writing and then I prefer also that for example I would go here and I will post it that this sentence in this place here so I'm just trying to figure out you know some places so I can you know post it in the right place but of course you need to make a change like you need to paraphrase some words actually so right now I'm not telling you writers or wannabe writers to be above the Okay, so let's fix it, search for another place so we can post it. Okay, okay, so I can post that here. You can change some words, like for example, I'm not addressing AC writers and so on. So you are trying to, you know, to add some phrases which might be good. It's, it's actually good and helpful to increase your relevancy score and also the keyword or the the chance to rank percentage in the targeted keyword so right now I can get that also and post it here so let's make like it's a, a little bit analysis let's analyze and figure out our result Okay, let's go to keyword ranking predictor. Okay, we still need to add more. 
So I will add this word, for example, here. And I will add this also. here as a part of definition and then press analyze so if we go here to the relevancy score it went high we have here the result totally changed that we have a CEO coin writing with a percent of 78 the search engine optimization writing was a percent of 58 we have also the coin writing was a percent of 54 is your writer with a percent to 53. So actually, the more you work in your article, the more you work on in, in using the other competitors, LSI and main keywords that will help you for sure to increase your relevancy score with a little bit of a change in the phrases and sentences and so on. That's very helpful to increase the relevancy score as we see here. Uh, the more you add the not found words as we spoke before, the more you add also the other competitors semantic and LSI words as a subject, not an object, it will also help, help you as a content creator or writer to increase your relevancy score and to increase your chance to rank as well. Right now, we are done for today. I wish it would be helpful for you and thank you so much.